Reverend Dorinthia Ironsong. I am a warrior and a young lieutenant in the Hand of Seoul. I have dedicated my life to defending the people of Solana. I wield weapons in the battle against evil. My favorite, Dawnblade. Dorinthia's ability is a once per turn effect. When your weapon attack hits, you may attack an additional time with that weapon this turn. Do note that you need a resource and an action point to attack with that weapon again. There are a few weapons of choice when playing Dorinthia. She can dual wield with hatchets of body and mind or Sintari sabers. However, she's most commonly seen using her signature weapon, Dawnblade. Dawnblade has a once per turn attack action for one resource. If Dawnblade hits and it's the second time it has hit this turn, put a plus one counter on Dawnblade. At the beginning of your end phase, if Dawnblade did not hit this turn, remove all plus one counters from Dawnblade. As she journey with Dorinthia, Refraction Bolters is one of her notable equipment in the leg slot. The effect of being able to give your weapon go again on hit synergizes well with your hero ability. Use this with caution though, as this can only be done once. It is also not a bad idea to use it for its block before cracking it for maximum value. With experience, you can consider the following equipments as you progress with Dorinthia. Brainforge Bracers complements your hero ability well. If your first weapon attack hits, it allows you to pump the damage on your second weapon attack for a single resource. Not to mention, it has Battle Worn and it blocks for two. Courage of Blade Hold reduces the cost of your sword attacks by one resource this turn, which is really beneficial if you can swing multiple times. It also has Temper and it blocks for two. Dorinthia's Class Specialization Most of her best cards revolve around the Reprise mechanic. Reprise is an effect when your opponent uses cards from hand to block your attacks. As long as the card used to defend is from their hand, your weapon attack gains the card Reprise effect. Cards with Reprise are normally found in attack reaction card types, which introduces a mini game within your match. This will lead you to some of the most fun entertaining interactions in Flesh and Blood. By now, you may have noticed that Dorinthia plays around conditional abilities and effects. From her hero ability, weapon of choice, equipment, and class specialization, they rely on your weapon being able to hit. I'll be showing you some examples on how you can synergize them in your matches. Fundamentally, cards that enhance your weapon attacks can showcase her playstyle and activate that minigame scenario in your match. Non-attack action cards such as Warrior's Valor is a prime example of this. Warrior's Valor lets your next weapon attack this turn gets plus 3 damage, and if this hits, it gains go again. Your opponent has to consider whether to let your attack hit or block the incoming damage. If they decide to block the incoming damage from hand, you can play an attack reaction with the reprise effect. If the attack hits, Dorinthia's hero ability is now in effect. You can swing with your weapon the second time if you have the resource. Remember, if Dawnblade is attacking the second time after it hits, it can gain a plus one damage counter at the end of your turn. Though it's a small buff, this outright changes the perceived value of the weapon attack. This means that for them to block Dawnblade next time, your opponent may need two cards or a defense reaction to fully block the attack. Here is a sample hand. Let's say I have a driving blade red, iron song response blue, iron song response red, and a sharpened steel red in my hand. I would play driving blade red pitching the iron song response blue. This means that I'm giving my weapon attack plus three and go again. Once I attack, my opponent has an option to fully block the damage or I can swing the weapon again via Dorinthia's hero ability. If they decide to block with a card from hand, I can play the red iron song response since the reprise effect is already active. Once the damage is dealt, Dorinthia's hero ability triggers and I can pitch my sharpened steel red in order to swing again. 
if they don't decide to block my next weapon attack, Dawnblade can get a plus one counter. Here is another sample hand. I have a sharpened steel red, an iron song response red, and I still have my refraction bolters. I will pitch my sharpened steel red to attack with Dawnblade. Granted that it's just a base attack, my opponent decides to let it hit. After it hits, I broke my refraction bolters to give it go again. With my last card remaining in hand, I pitch Iron Song response in order to attack with my Dawnblade again, threatening the plus one damage counter if it hits. With the same hand, what if my opponent decides to do things differently? If my opponent decides to block with a card from hand, I can play my Iron Song response while keeping my refraction bolters for the next turn. You may want to consider these non-attack action cards that are regularly used with Dorinthia and Dawnblade. Steel Blade Supremacy gives your weapon a plus 2 damage buff for the turn and a conditional hit effect to draw a card. Glistening Steel Blade gives Dawnblade go again and a conditional effect of gaining a permanent plus 1 damage on hit. Spoils of War gives your next weapon go again and a plus 2 damage buff and a conditional on hit effect that gives you coppers. In conclusion, Dorinthia is a fantastic hero if you want to have mini games within your match. Her game plan is fundamental but can lead into the most interesting and rewarding interactions. Most of her cards have very good conditional effects if and when they are met. If you like playing with weapons with a dash of trickery, Dorinthia is your girl. This is Murmur Man for Fab Workshop.